Welcome back, dorks. Today we're going to be checking out the Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano figure. Checking out the box here. We have a nice drawn image of Ahsoka. We have that same image again with a read up on her. Alright, now that we've looked at the box, let's crack her open. Alright, checking out one of Ahsoka's lightsabers that she comes with here. This one is the, uh, the bigger hilt. She comes with two. One's a bigger hilt, one's a smaller hilt. This one's definitely got a little more detail than the other one on it. And then we got the longer blade with the clear, almost blue plastic. Here's her other lightsaber. It doesn't have those grips that the other one did. Looking good still though. Alright. Those, those lightsabers are the only things she comes with, so let's take a look at the figure itself. Checking out the head sculpt on this Ahsoka figure, looking very good. It's This model is done off of the uh, Rebels TV show. Not It still kind of does look like Rosario Dawson though, which is kind of nice. Checking out the articulation for her head it is really hindered by her head tails. I believe they're called the the Leku, L-E-K-K-U, Leku. They're really, they really hinder her ability to have a lot of movement, which is kind of what you would expect with a Ahsoka figure, I guess. Can't really turn her side to side at all. Oh, she gets a little bit of movement. Checking out her arm movements here. We can get a T-pose. We get a full 360 of the shoulder. No bicep swivel. We get a single jointed elbow that bends in just about at the 90 degree point. For this wrist, we get a dice rolling motion, like this. And on this arm, we get the in and out motion, like that. Checking out the waist articulation, she can bend in about that much, which is barely any crunch. Back, eh, a little bit, but not a lot. Checking out the waist. We do get a diaphragm swivel instead of a waist swivel. And then she can kick, kick out forward quite a bit. Back, more. We can, can't quite get her to do the splits. We get double jointed knees. She can't quite. Eh. That's about it. We get not very much foot articulation here. You can push the foot down a little bit. Not very much side to side movement. And that goes for the same leg. It's really appreciated though that on this figure. They, like almost all Black Series, they go with the soft goods around where all the major articulation is to not hinder it. She also has the two little hooks here for her lightsaber hilt storage. Really appreciate it. We got a lot of good detail on this Ahsoka figure. With a little, I don't know if it's like wood or leather, I guess it's wood. Leather. On her little side pieces here. The ring. Very good looking figure. Alright. Let's check out some comparisons with other figures. Alright, here we got Ahsoka next to Anakin Skywalker, also from the Black Series, if he could stand on his own for a minute. There we go. Oh, how cool would it be to have Hayden come back for the Ahsoka TV show? Also, Ian McGregor would be amazing to have those three land up, line up in live action. We got Ahsoka next to a standard Marvel Legends figure, the Spider-Man figure from the Retro Card line. Here's Ahsoka compared to a Todd McFarlane uh, black suit Superman. And measuring this Ahsoka figure... 
from the top of her head tails, she's about six inches tall. Alright dorks, that's going to do it for me on this figure review. And remember, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Leave me a comment telling me what figures that you would like to see in the future. And as always, subscribe if you're looking for more.